Hey guys, it's your home girl Zeri, back for another one. I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know that I'm sorry for not uploading as much. I definitely have ideas and I definitely have things I can be recording. For example, Christmas, I wanted to do a cake pop video of how to make cake pops. And they came out pretty alright. Um, I'll insert a picture somewhere in this video. So let me know if you guys want to learn how to make cake, cake, pops? <laughs> cake pops with me and I'll make a video about that. Um, also, my friend was supposed to record my video, a video. My friend was supposed to record that cake pop video with me, but you know, like when you're in a mood to hang out with someone and then you get home and you're like, mm, I really don't want to hang out with anyone. I really need to stop doing that because I'm going to be hella antisocial. I really, I already am. Um, so I really need to get out of my comfort zone. What I want to show you is this Christmas wreath. So I made this Christmas wreath out of dollar, all dollar store shit. See, uh-huh, uh-huh. If you guys want to learn how to make it, want to learn how to make it, just, you know, let me know. And I'll make a video about that so you guys can have one ready done for next Christmas and whatnot. So those are my two Christmas DIYs that I totally forgot to record or um, didn't record just because, you know. I don't know, man. I like, ugh. I hate myself for not recording these things, you know? Like, it could have been a whole fucking video. Um, anyway. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. The tamales that I made. <laughs> um, what happened with that? I was gonna... See, I was gonna make a video like, right when I got home. But when I got home, like I said, hi to my dog, hi to my cat, hi to my other dog. And then, in the process, I laid down with one of them. And I just took a little nap. It had to be like an hour nap. Like, no, like 30 minutes or something. Like 40 minutes. It's pretty long. Okay, um, but anyway, it's important right now because I don't have a ring light and the sun goes down. So, yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my tamales. Okay, my tamales. Now, I thought I was doing good um, until the masa came up. The masa is so hard to make. I think I put too much salt. I think I put too much. Um, what is, what I, put I don't even know what I put in it because I watched all YouTube videos. <laughs> Because, you know, me and my mama don't have the best relationship. So, honestly, it's not the best time of year to be speaking with her or any time, really. Um, <laughs> she's just a little bit cuckoo. But I love her. Anyway, um, I didn't have my mama to help me. So, I had to watch YouTube videos. Um, yeah, and they didn't come out the best. Here's a review of them. So, <clears throat> I didn't record the whole process because it was a mess. And, um, I had somewhere to be right after, so I was really trying to hurry up. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I didn't record it. So, this is my first tamal. And, like, in the bottom, you can see it kind of falls apart more easily. But in the top, it looks pretty intact. I might have just cooked them for too long, so, I don't know. So, that morning, uh, Christmas morning, so I made the tamales Christmas Eve. And I made them in a rush. Oh, that's why I didn't record it. I made the tamales Christmas Eve and I made them in a rush because Tim wanted to go look at the mountains, wanted to go look at the stars in the mountains. But something happened and we ended up having to come back. But anyway, um, so when we came back, I put the tamales, you know, um, to cook. And um, I left them, I think I left them in too long, honestly, because I think I went to sleep at 12 and then I woke up at 2. And then I lowered the heat, and then I woke up like at six or something. So I did leave them on for a while, um, but there was I, there was still water in the pot, in the big old pot. So I really don't know what the heck I did wrong. I think I just left them in for too long. Maybe I made the masa wrong. Maybe a combination of both. So on Christmas Day, we went to the shooting range. And it was an open shooting range, so not inside. Uh, it was just in the mountains on the flat area. <coughs> oh, that one got me. They usually don't get me. We hit the blunt too hard. Uh. So me and Tim were at the shooting range, and um, it was an open shooting range, so it wasn't inside. 
and I was using this little gun here and I was holding it like you know um I'm not actually on video I don't know should I do it I'm gonna do it some of this shit is gonna be graphic so F FYI heads up I'm just gonna show this part because it's the only part that matters and it's uh, this is the part that shot back and sliced my finger the silver part because I was holding it up too high to the point where you know I got fucking hurt <laughs> so that's a burn that I got from work but this this is the good stuff here so I got four stitches I just took off my thingy to show you guys so it's a little nasty right now I need to clean it but there it is it's and uh, I don't have insurance because I don't qualify for it here in the United States that I know of so far. Um, so I really, really, really did not want to go to the hospital because I knew that was going to be expensive. And all the urgent cares were closed because it's Christmas. So I had to go to the ER. So I actually have to do that shit today. <laughs> I just reminded myself of something which is super important. I need to call the bill lady. <laughs> but I, yeah, um, I forgot what I was talking about now because I'm so worried about that. Um, yeah, it's going to be a big bill because I don't have insurance. Um, but hey, my dumbass <laughs> decided <laughs> to, you know, fuck up. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we went to the hospital. Everyone like came at me <laughs> like the lady asking me for my name the doctor doctor like some other guy Tim was trying to fix my finger prior and that shit would not stop bleeding and see a picture here Um, Tim tried to Stop the bleeding and you know, so we'll have to go to the hospital, but that wasn't working So we went to the hospital. Hey guys, it's your homegirl Zeri and um, I had to stop because the sun went down and had some stuff to do so yeah, it's like two days later Because <laughs> yesterday was New Year's so Tim had the day off so I wanted to spend the day with him and so here we are again January 2nd. Happy New Year guys. I love you. So where were we? Um, so I went to the hospital and um, they took off the bandage that Tim had put on and as soon as they took that off it started gushing again um, so they wrapped it back up with a little um, cloth and they stepped out of the room so they can get their surgery things like their stitching stuff Um, I didn't know if we could record in the room or not, and I was too much of a bitch to ask. So, <laughs> we just recorded when they kept stepping out of the room. Um, they brought me some paperwork that I can fill out, which was the insurance stuff, which I don't have any of. <laughs> so, they kept asking like about it, like they kept like mentioning insurance, and I would just stay quiet. I was like, mm. So, I figured they, they knew I didn't have it. gave me the paperwork, they cleaned my cut, then they came back in with the um, anesthetic stuff and the sewing stuff um, and they um, had to put more numbing juice because it wasn't enough for me. Um, it's so fat guys. <laughs> it's like a mini put sausage. Them, put them that way. So they can see the oh, stitches. Yeah, huh? Said that because um, the cut might have been a little bit too deep, it might have cut. I don't know what they said, but basically, there's like this fluid stuff in between your joints. And they said that I ruptured that little ball of fluid and that therefore I might get septic arthritis which is supposed to be the most painful type of arthritis. Lucky me, <laughs> but apparently you get it when you're older anyway, or I guess some people do. Um, so there's that. But I'm hope I'm hopefully, like, you know, it's fine. Hopefully it wasn't too deep, because that shit would not stop bleeding, guys. It was scary. I was like, I really don't want to go to the hospital. I just actually called them and found out that my bill is gonna be nine thousand dollars, and that's um, oh, fuck. 
I realized there was like something down here that was in the way, so I had to flip my camera around. Anyway, um, the bill is gonna be nine thousand dollars <laughs> without insurance, without any help. But they said that they might be able to bring that down significantly because I don't have insurance. So hopefully, <laughs> I, I was talking to a lady on the phone and I was like, mm, "That's a lot," and she just laughed, you know, because she was chilling. And I was like, "Yeah, you know, whatever." I just, I just wait for. Her. I have to wait for some paperwork but yeah guys that's my story um, I'm gonna try 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 to film some more because I'm telling you guys I have some stuff that I want to film and I just don't I don't know why I guess I just need to get more into the you know the gist of filming and doing because <clears throat> it's actually a lot harder than it looks so um, yeah <laughs> I love you guys. Hopefully you like my video. Like I said, Happy New Year. Um, hopefully by the time I posted this video, we're at 200 homies. Because right now we're 199. And that's super exciting for me. Because like I said, we started off at zero. Um, anyway, I love you guys. I love you so, so, so much. So that was my life update with your homegirl, Zeri. Um, I hope you guys like my video. I hope none of you guys got hurt during your Christmas holiday vacation time. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. See you in my next video. You know what's that in my head? The renegade. 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 <laughs> I don't know how to do it, but I'm gonna learn. Just soap and water's cool. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna open up at all. Hey guys, it's your homegirl Zeri, and I just wanted to do an update on my finger. Pretty, like, which we I can tell it's not all the way healed because it still really hurts if I touch it too much or if I press on, if I press on it too hard. But yeah, I'm peeling. If you're new to my channel, my name is Zeri. My phone name is Yetsidi, but on here we are homies. So I'm your homegirl Zeri. Um, and I would like I try to post at least once a month but you know sometimes the voices in my head don't let me concentrate and I just can't do shit for a good while so I really try and I just want to let you guys know <laughs> but um yeah so thank you guys Boom. <laughs>